This Joe, this is my buddy Joe. Him and I work on the boat all the time. He's acting he like he don't, he, he like he's not interested, but we know he is. And uh, he's a little camera shy. That's okay. He's trying to hide behind me. It lifted it some, but probably not as much as I had hoped. I shouldn't have had no problem finding it. Well, that I'm not forward far enough to. That's probably right in front of this cleat. We're off of the board, but uh, I probably need to pull that forward some more so I can I can uh, repair. I need to look at the bottom of it. Not right there. Let's see. Let me find my thing. See the light shining through. Right there.
All right. We still have the trailer part way under it, so it won't fall or can't fall far anyhow. I don't know if the camera can pick that up, but that looks like a crack right there. We'll have to clean that up and investigate that a little further. It's going to be a little more involved than I thought, so I better... I might as well bring a few more blocks and get a better blocking up under the boat. For all you John Deere fans, I did stack all them wood blocks on the deck of this boat. No, that wasn't a mistake. This is my John Deere boat. The reason I did that is I just got the trailer under there a little bit and I just want to make sure that if it, anything did happen that it wouldn't just flip the trailer up and drop it down anyhow. Right, there it is. There's the hole. Looks like there might be one right there trying to start. Let me sand over there a little bit. I kind of thought that... Well, look at that. Not only do we have a hole right there with the sun shining through, we've got, this is a scratch, but right here, let's see, see it? Look at that mark there, and then you got one right there about ready to go. So this one must be under the rib. Let me look at that on top. Caused myself some problems here. All right. Like we just got this one. It's all the way through. This one here. That's uh, just a, getting ready. And then we got this deep pop mark here. And I'm thinking that's just from laying on that salt water on the, uh, and then boards on the trailer. Um, so anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and before I do anything here, I'm going to take and make a, do a good inspection of the bottom of the boat and see what we got. Now look at there. 
See the corrosion right there? There's another one. I figured these are pinholes. I'd use a pin to mess with them. Let me go ahead and sand that one off. Okay, there's two, or three. I'm not sure how I'm going to fill these. I originally was going to try to weld them up with some of that low uh, temp uh, lutamin rods. But some of that foam out of here, you can see that hole right there. This had styrofoam blocks in it. I think what I'm going to do is, uh, I'll just get me uh when I order my next order on my uh, poor buoyancy foam, I'm going to go ahead and get enough for here. Well, I was going to try to weld up this aluminum in with, uh, I got some of these rods that melt at 700 and, where was that, 732 degrees Fahrenheit. And melts at 1220 degrees Fahrenheit. So I was going to try to use this torch, but obviously I can't make it work. And so Ramp Lowe's bought me a, this map gas torch, and I was just trying to look, see how hot this gets, for uh, if that's going to work. Before I opened it, I was trying to read through the package. First thing it says never use where people are sleeping. I guess if you're going to burn something, don't use this. You're not allowed. There it is. It's not the prettiest weld in town, but it looks pretty good. And see when you get back and look at it, from a galloping horse, full speed, it don't look bad. For my first try ever. Thanks for watching. I said in the how to did it. This is how I did it. Uh, hope you learned something. If nothing else, uh, that rod with the uh, low melting point on the for aluminum, I can see if you work with it a little bit, you can probably get pretty good at it. It worked well here, and uh, other than the heat drawing up the boat a little bit as it cools, it's going down. I'm not sure if it's going to go all the way down, but I don't think it's really going to matter because. Uh, is made denser in the bottom of this boat, who would know the difference? Keep watching.